hello guys welcome back to this channel hope everyone is fine on that note let's start this video so this is week 2 assignment of the course blockchain and its applications so guys for the past five years we have been providing solutions for various NPTEL courses including blockchain as well so i want to thank each and everyone for supporting me so we have got a very good response for the first video so we want to continue the videos guys so please watch the video till then don't skip the video guys you may miss some changes if you make any solution change so let's see the first question Alice employs the RSA crypto system with the prime numbers P equal to 11 and Q equal to 19 to derive her public and private keys given that her public key is E equals 11 what is her corresponding private key D so for first question the probable answer is option B 131 guys so mark option B as probable solution for first question so let me zoom this for your convenience next second question so second question Alice wants to send a message to Bob with confidentiality and integrity. The steps are as follows. So for second question, option C is the probable solution. Public, hash, private, private, public. So mark option C as probable solution for second question. Now let's move on to the third one. So digitally signing transactions by the sender in blockchain ensures the resolution of repudiation or verifiability problems. So based on this, which of the following is correct? So for third question, option B is the probable solution guys. It ensures that the sender cannot deny the transaction and the recipient can verify its authenticity. So mark option B as the probable solution for third question. Now let's move on to the fourth one. What is the primary purpose of Alice signing a message with her private key in a blockchain transaction? So for fourth question, option C, to prove the message came from Alice. So option C is the probable solution for fourth question. Now let's move on to the fifth one. Fifth one. Consider six data points labeled 1 to 6. The post order traversal of the Mercury tree is provided as follows. So for fifth question, option C is the probable solutions guys. solution guys. So mark option C as the probable solution for fifth question. So guys, these are completely our probable solutions. If there are any changes that come to our notice, definitely we will update that in the comment section. So please once again check the comment section for any updates available before final submission. And if you find there should be any change of the solution, you can please give that in the comment section. So we'll try to discuss out, right? So before moving into the sixth question, I want to make a small announcement, guys. So that is regarding exam preparation MCQs exam preparation mcqs so for the course blockchain and its applications we have prepared the exam preparation mcqs guys with five years of nptl experience although the course is new with five years of nptl experience we have prepared exam preparation mcqs from the lectures completely from nptl syllabus so here you'll get a huge number of 300 mcqs in a google drive pdf restricted link so these are the combination of past NPTEL assignment questions as well as our own handmade extracted questions from lectures. So for one person it is 300 rupees guys. For two to five persons if you take it along with your friends it will be combinedly 500 rupees guys. So for two to five persons combinedly 500 rupees. 
so please share this news with your friends and classmates and do purchase this 300 huge number of 300 mcq spec if you take it for two to five persons each will be each will get for less price only and each one will get the 300 mcqs so this is the mail id if you want to purchase so one person from your group mail me to this email id requesting the pack so already hundreds of students have taken our various NPTEL packs and got benefited guys pk1794793 gmail.com so this is the email id guys and there is another thing that is youtube membership but here you'll only get only 100 plus mcqs for one person it is 89 rupees only it but it is only for one month but the pdf pack will be till the exam results publishing day the exam results publishing till the till the exam publishing results publishing day you'll have the access and high amount of syllabus will be covered in youtube membership is just a sample pack of 100 plus mcqs but only available in video format but the google drive is pdf format so search option is also available and it is also easy to revise high syllabus in less time but if you want this youtube membership no need to mail me you can directly go to our youtube channel page so s kumar edu is our youtube channel page so beside the subscribe button there is a join button so click on this join button guys then a window will open like this so select the second one videos only for members pack that is 18 per month pack and again click on this join button and make payment that's it directly to youtube that's it you will become member of our channel and you can get access to all of our members only videos so here you can see we have uploaded many videos including blockchain and its application part one and part two as well here you can see so you can get all these subject videos for the same 89 rupees case no extra charge needed so if you take it for one subject you can get all the subjects so that's it guys but my suggestion if you want to prepare for the, for the final exam point of view it's better to take this 300 mcqs huge number of pack so you'll get that in a google drive pdf restricted link so for one person it is 300 rupees for two to five persons combinedly 500 rupees so this is the mail id bk1794417 at the red gmail.com we'll give the same email right in the description box as well so that's it guys now let's get back to the solutions so sixth question which of the following is used to refer to a block in a blockchain so for sixth question option c is the probable solution previous block hash next seventh one which of the following does not does not align with the primary design goals of cryptocurrency development so for seventh question option c centralized control over transactions so this is the this does not align so mark option c next eighth question which of the following statements is or are true regarding bitcoin and its consensus algorithm so for eighth question first second and fourth options are, i mean statements are correct so option c is the probable solution for our true statements that is option c guys one two four are statements right now let's move on to the ninth question what is the primary focus of safety in bitcoins protocol so for ninth question option a preventing invalid transactions so mark option a guys and moving on to the final question of the assignment that is 10th one which of the following is the primary goal of a consensus algorithm in a distributed system so for 10th and final question option b is the probable solution so mark option b guys 
friends these are the solutions for week two assignment of blockchain course so hope this video helpful for you if you feel the same please subscribe our channel like this video and definitely purchase this 300 mcqs google drive pdf restricted link pack guys so 300 huge number of you are getting a huge number of 300 mcqs for one person it is 300 for two to five persons combinedly 500 rupees guys so this is the mail id bk179417 at the rate gmail.com right so this is the mail id i will give the same email id in the description box as well if you want this youtube membership sample pack you can directly join our channel but if you want this 300 mcqs get pack mail me to this email id guys so that's it guys so keep supporting us like this so until the next video goodbye thank you